Well, Executive Director Center for Adolescent Health and Social Development, Fatima Odushote, has called on the federal government to put measures in place to make menstrual hygiene materials readily accessible. Odushote will say this in Abuja to commemorate the 2022 Menstrual Hygiene Day with the theme, Making Menstruation a Normal Fact of Life by 2030, said it's imperative for the government to provide sustainable access to water and sanitation for proper menstrual management for girls and women. May 28 of every year is a day set aside to highlight the importance of menstruation and proper menstrual hygiene management for every girl and woman, irrespective of their location, and also to highlight the need to address the common myths surrounding menstruation and break the silence and shame on menstruation. We're now being joined by Abosso de Otsupe, a child rights advocate. Glad to have you. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. We apologize for the stress we had put you through in the course of fixing our audio. Thank you for your patience. Yeah, you're welcome. Now, uh, menstruation, meat surrounding menstruation for girls and women. Uh, why is there yeah. so, uh, why does it look like there's so much, uh, there are a lot of myths surrounding menstruation for girls and women? Well, we all know that the menstruation again, menstruation is a normal phenomenon of um, a, a normal girl child or woman to actually menstruate because it's a sin of the nature. It's a sin of nature. Okay, now, so, yeah. I think that the earlier we start talking to the girl child and sometimes even the boy child about menstruation, oh. the better and the easier it is for us to get over uh, these myths. When is the uh, best age? What age is the best time to start educating children about menstruation and some of the other physical changes uh, in, the, in the body of a girl or even a boy? Yeah, well, I would say that um, for a girl child, you can first look at a child at age of five. You can both child, boy and girl. Age five, you, you want to suggest age five? Yeah, you can start with age five. Okay, then I'm also going to ask you, between the mother and the father, who is in a better position to, to address issues of menstruation with a girl? Well, you know, uh, as a doctor, as a uh, it's more easier to do. Because, yeah, I tell you, it's a soft person that I can have it on the face. Uh, when you are younger, you have to start your own menstruation. So it's easy for you to actually start your own child as a woman as you are. But there's no big deal about a man, so talking about it generally. Some women still find it embarrassing that they menstruate. Are you aware of that? Very, very aware of that. Why should I a grown-up woman... Yeah. Carry on. What did you say? Carry on. I remember when we were in school, uh, when you were in school, and you have a friend just said, you're on, you're looking out for a guy, and you're looking at him, so they're going to call him. What's the call? Um, cardigans to cover you up. And the protection that those guys are going to be looking for actually happening to me. Because, and this is, the reason why I have been, the reason why this is happening because, yeah, majority of our boys, uh, our boys are, are not well educated about the person I do. How important is it? Okay, um, so we have final word on the meat surrounding menstruation. How do you want to help people out there, women and even men, uh, who still find it difficult to come to terms with the reality of menstruation in girls and women? Uh, how do you want to help them overcome uh, the, uh, get over these meats? Well, I'm going to do this here, thank you. A whole lot of energy are out there that are trying to share services for our social government to our team, how important it is. So we cannot just do it alone. We need government intervention. Because in Scotland, there are three sanitary staff schools, uh, secondary 
Thank you very much, Mrs. Abbasadeh Otukwa. Thank you for joining us on our Prime Time News tonight. We appreciate your yeah. uh, presence and patience. Hopefully, we'll get back to you in, in coming days or weeks if we have uh, to reach you again on sensitive issues like this. Thank you very much. Yo, thank you for the Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.